Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Put down your kale juice! No! Pick it up, empty it out, fill it with spice rum. Yeah, because you don't need kale juice. That stuff's healthy. I've been juicing. Yeah, I juice too. Really? Yeah. You're you juicing? kale? I juice uh, a lot of times spinach, but I've done kale. Kale? Um, I think the kale is probably going to come out better in your uh, masticating juicer than in my centrifugal. Oh, it's awesome. So I just use spinach because it's kind of a watery thing. Yeah. Spinach, yeah. cucumber, celery, carrots. Carrots, kale, lemon. lemon Apples. And ginger. And ginger. Yeah. Which I've been like mm. tripling my ginger and I'm still not, it's not hot enough for me. Oh, it hits you. It's I'm good. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's not. That has nothing to do with what we're about to talk about. <laughs> Maybe some of those are in here. This is an episode. There's two episodes I wanted to do and I put a vote out on Facebook.com slash cocktail TV to see which one everybody wanted to do first. We're Last minute, both. but we right. got it. Yeah. So everybody keeps asking me two things. What's the difference between orange liqueurs? And once upon a time, me and Jennifer had this show called uh, Alcohols by Volume, where we did all this. But it was like five, 2008, around 2009. Yeah, so. so it's uh, old. It's old. Probably still true, but old. Yep. Learned a lot from that. Learned a lot since then. Mm. Um, so I thought it would be cool to do this because people go, oh, I need to know what, what's a good spiced rum. So this is all just spiced rums. And this is all the spiced rums that we could find in your basement right now, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can all, you, you can buy any. You, you may still have basement. more, but we just no. got tired of searching. I got rid of my, my Catherine Morgan tattoo, so that's not here. That would have fit in this category. Oh, that would have made 12. It would have. You, you know what? I love tattoo, too. I don't know why. I just like it. See, you guys are up. totally just ruining God. everything. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Moving uh, it along. Moving so, along. Uh, they keep asking, which, what is your favorite spice rum? And I'm like, well, Captain Morgan Private Stock. But you know what? There's been a lot since then. I don't know. Captain Morgan Private's pretty good. Yeah. But I also like Captain Morgan Sherry cask. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, okay, well, uh, let's just enumerate these so we can oh, see what they, okay, what, cool. what's here. They're all blind. We have no idea what's what. Yeah. They're all numbered on the bottom and Jen poured and wrote right. down the associated numbers. So these two are in a different category. Knows. Yeah. We're calling those the dark ones. Right. Dark this was kind of getting there. We heat ordered them so dark to light. I tried. Yeah. Just because it looks cool. But it doesn't mean we know anything better than them. So, nope. this is the Catherine Morgan limited edition. We've got that in there. Uh, it's the sherry cask. Right? Sherry cask. Yep. Sherry cask so, that one is, I don't know if it's really limited edition or what the marketing is behind that, but I like it, so I hope it's It says limited edition. Yeah, but I don't know. That's yeah, not so sure. Then we have uh, Crucian 9, which has nine different spices. We got a variety of proofs Sailor here. Sailor Jerry's also. proofs so are going to be all This is a place. 35% alcohol. This is a, probably a 40% alcohol. Sailor Jerry's is the, a no, 46. The, yeah, the Sailor Jerry's is going to be a higher proof. Yeah. Uh, this is 35. 35 should be where everything else lands. Blackheart is 93, so I guess I'm wrong there. Oh, 46. Uh, 46. Uh, the Lash is 35% alcohol. We got the Private Stock, which is 40% uh, alcohol. We got the oh, Kraken, which is... Kraken! Kraken! Uh, 47 proof. So that's heavy. Do we have Captain Morgan Black in here? Uh, no. I had another one then you could have played oh, in here. Awesome. I have 30, uh, 35% Oakheart. Uh, Black Beard is 86 proof, 43%. And then the Spice Jack, but I don't think about that, is uh, 47. Spice Jack. Uh, percent. 47%. So that's what uh, we're looking at. We don't know which is which. We can probably yeah. guess based on colors. Well, yeah, like we know like the black is... But you're not going to do that. No, the, yeah. the, we know Kraken is going to be dark. And so is the Sherry, probably. Right, so you're going to get you're gonna get some a semblance of dark rums. If you would have kept your tattoo, that would have been another dark one. Been well, been if we knew up. where my sailor that Captain lash is Morgan dark. Black is, oh, we could have used that too, but I don't seem to understand where that went. Yeah. We could have just finished it. Um, yeah, it doesn't turn. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed that. that. <laughs> the yeah, lash is kind of dark broken. too, so yeah, that might be one of those darks. We'll see. Anyway, right. anyway, so so the, yeah. we're gonna just score them to figure out what what we think tastes better. We'll, we'll taste each of them. Mm. We'll give our notes. Yeah, and then we'll find out. Uh, we'll, we'll see which which ones we like the best, and then we'll find out what everything is at the end. Right. So it's not really to pick a winner, mm. but just to. Uh, I like to know what the heck's going on. Maybe I want to know, know what the, the differences. Like. Yeah. The problem I have is if I if we just pour each one of these in a bottle and leave the bottle next to it. There is a chance you're going to get an impression that's not really there. Yeah. Right. So I just wanted to be naked, so you could see all the fat rolls. <laughs> no, Again? no, no, yeah. no, no. The, just the alcohol. Okay. And then I don't even care who wins. This isn't like you, this. No, if we say matter. this product is the best we, that we have, other ones might pair with a different type of cocktail because the spices are all over the map. They are. Some are going to be cinnamon heavy. Some will be vanilla heavy. If some you like vanilla, be oaky. Some are going to be not so right. oaky. And if you like. Oak yep. better, you're gonna like that one better. You're gonna get a whole bunch of different tastes. That's why we just want to give you notes, and you can pick what you, you want to try. They're not a numbered order. Which just ones know. you like? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can. Are we, we gonna start with that let's side? Let's start on the light side. And the light side of the force. I, th oh. I think that makes sense because then we can we can work up to the darkness. Because dark yeah. is evil. 
Right. This is like. I'm going to the dark side. Yeah. All right. There's a Sith in the chat room too. Sith Lord. There's a Sith in the chat room. Yeah, Sith Lord's in the chat room. Oh, welcome. All right. So this smells sweet. They should all smell fairly sweet. I'm really upset. I can't figure out where my get my Captain Morgan black one. It doesn't matter because it's. It's too late. If I poured it, you'd know where it is. You throw it in these and it tastes sweet too. Don't don't knock it over. No. So don't close my eyes and wave it around. You know what? Exactly. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Just don't get it on me. I gotta drive home. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get drunk if it touches your skin. Yeah, but if I get pulled over, they won't know if I touch my skin or. <laughs> no, no, touch my skin. It's not my skin. Yeah, your tongue is your skin, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, sweet, a little bit chemically, maybe for rum. It's the, um. The sweetness lingers. Yeah. Um. That's light, yeah, it's really thin, light. like it's not a very heavy weight. Like a little, little bit of oakiness, but it fits the color. I'm definitely getting the chemical, uh, a little bit chemical taste in there. But there's, it's um, what the hell are those things? Where's my nuts? It's got a lot Macadamia. of nutmeg. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, it's got a lot of nutmeg <clears throat> flavor. So it seems to be. Oh nutmeg. yeah, they're up uh, on my nuts right, right there. They're right there on the end. Yeah, they're behind the bitterman. Oh, yes, and we should find lots of nuts, like um. Then Cruise 9 has pictures of the different things that could be on them, but this is one of the things that you'll find. <coughs> you try to inhale rum. Yep. Do you do that all the time? I like what? to uh, aerate it because I get a better uh, taste of it. You do that more than you should. Mm. Yeah, I guess a little bit of nothing. All right, so that's that. Mm -hmm. We got a long way to go. I, <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to drink them all down. We will be We probably roasted. should have gotten some water. In. Water? Water's for pussies. No, no. Spit uh, to Clean. cleanse our palate between. I got I got lime uh, Perrier. This one's good. This one definitely has a different spice character to it. That was still worth. There's only a hint of lime. You think? Plus, good for it. It's not as sweet as the first one. Why don't we? You know what we'll call oh, those our are palate? Good. No, these are better. Oh, those are awesome. Did I bring those over here? No. <laughs> Perrier. I bought over. these before. They're awesome. I didn't even know. I didn't. We can buy those around here. Perrier sent those over, so I. I yeah, I, I think these are the ones I got at uh, Hannaford's at one point. No, Not I these think ones. You bought but... someone. You bought a different one. Oh, maybe it was the. Because uh, we bought yeah. those other ones before. This smells kind of cool. Yeah, it's a little less sweet, but it's got more spice to it. Mmm, it's warmer. That's awesome. Um. Bubbles. That's warmer. Mm. I think it has a better balance. Just to clarify, you mean heat-wise, not room, not no, 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 temperature-wise, no, no. because everything's room temperature. Yeah, I guess it's true. No, but I, yeah, I mean like, um, like on your tongue, it just feels very um, comfortable. <laughs> it's like a right. tongue sock. It's comfortable numb. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's very Pink Floydy. Uh, no, it just has. Cool. You, you know what it does? It tickles tongue. all the parts of your palate. Okay, this one only gets the front and oh. the sides. It doesn't get the back of your palate. So sweet and sour. So it's like a it's like a margarita. He's aerating again. Again, some spice, a little bit of sweetness, not too much. The first one's still kind the sweetest. Got a caramel smell to it. Caramel, yeah. That's the flavor I got out of that too. Yeah, even in the flavors. Yeah. That one definitely Could more be. caramely, sweet, yep. candy forward. Definitely. Um, hey, what's great? I think that's I may, a good run. I may coke. be making work for you. Uh oh. But as we're tasting these, you can be putting the names up under them. Oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> so that everybody knows what we're tasting and they, the notes actually make sense. Oh, well, that does make a lot more sense. Sorry. Well, okay, well, how do we know that? I'm really sorry. Jen will know because at the end we'll... Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to know what numbers there. Let's go through the numbers. Yeah, so, do so the, the first number. one we did... Oh, is that nine or six? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's a... It should have a... You should be able to tell from how she wrote it. I wrote it. He wrote it. Oh, this is a nine, dude. Okay. This, so first one's six. I don't know how you S would make that one's, six. We got six, seven, eight, one, and one's the one we just tried. So that's one? Yeah. Okay. So this next one is three. I'm gonna, I'm like, and I'm typing furiously on my computer over there going, what did he just say? Six, seven, nine, one, three? Oh. Yeah, you are. Wait, we didn't try this one, did we? No. No, you think you've only done three yeah. so far. So this is number one, which is the fourth one. That's not confusing. <laughs> the tag on the bottom is one. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's got a. Uh, it has like a paint thinner smell to it, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's thin, 
inconsistency, so it makes me think it's one of the higher one, higher proof ones. Mm. But it's mm. butterscotch. Butterscotch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> very like hot, like actually yeah. the alcohol. That's pretty good though, right? I mean, it's a neat scotch. taste. All right, so now we're moving on to three. That was one. One has the butterscotch. One has butterscotch. That is definitely a... Oh, this is wrong. Paint stripper and spice. This one is... Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be a higher proof more. It, this is a higher proof one. I, I think this is thinner. Um, paint definitely. thinner. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> you make this, <laughs> this is three. He once had fingernail polish on and now it all curled off. <laughs> See? Yep. Now his fingernails curling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's stronger. It's not bad. Right. It's a little spicy. Definitely lose the sweetness with the strength. Right? Yeah. Um, I can't put my finger on the spice in there, but. No. It's stronger. Sugar. Than, yeah. <laughs> it's like it, we need a sweetness because it is lighting your face on fire. Like, ooh. Oh yeah. That's a lot Let's of heat. Let's do that before this next one. This next one is number four. So they're going to be able to see if I do this right. This may be. Oh, I have to edit this one anyway. Jennifer only does a cocktail show. So, yeah, this will work. Then you guys get to see what the heck we're tasting and how Ooh. bogus we are. It's like cherry or amaretto or something in here. Cherry or amaretto? I like yeah. amaretto. I do too. There's no amaretto in there. Nope. You get that? Mm -mm. You don't get the cherry amaretto taste? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, too. Whoa. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't get it in the smell, but I got oh, it. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like a, a, a thinner um, amaretto. Yeah, yeah. Like right. not as much almond, but there's definitely like that dark, maybe even a cherry herring, like a. Yeah, yeah, smoky. It's kinda. almost like it, it sucked off the edge of the of a, of a charred oak or something. Like or so or cherry wood even. What's yeah. the difference between a paint thinner smell and a chemical smell? <laughs> uh, chemical <Not> <laughs> is unidentified. Yeah. We don't know what chemical paint it is. Paint thinner is just strong alcohol. Right. <laughs> paint thinner is like, it, you use it to strip things. This is gonna have, <laughs> this smells like vanilla. What number is that? This is number nine. Nine? Nine. 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 Whoa! That, uh, the problem yeah. with this is the, the aeration and it makes you burp and then things are bad. There's some burn in this one, but the vanilla is there. Vanilla, huh? Vanilla. Vanilla. <coughs> this has an amaretto smell. I couldn't put my nose on that. <laughs> yeah, don't do it in your face. It's not nice to put your nose on. People's drinks. I inhaled jalapeno vodka last last week through my nose, <laughs> accidentally. How'd that work for you, dude? That one's got like that has another almond thing. Yeah, well, but like a sugar do you get almond. vanilla out of it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> vanilla. It's like almond. It's like um, almond syrup, like the sweeter uh, almond syrup, or maybe a flarenum. Or jat. Yeah, or jat. This is number ten. We're stepping into the doubles now. Double. You, this is a, this is one of those like when we did the tequila and there's twenty two. This is not a 22 tasting because there's so many sensory overloads happening. There are. Like, by the time the, you're the done. The alcohol burn gets you big time and the yeah. flavors are a little more And they're like maybe, all, all but it's like, yeah, you, I think it would burn out your palate if you did any more at once. It was a lot of flavor. Uh, <coughs> I know what that one is. Out of it's tasty. All, so far, which one, I think the, the one that. What number is that? 10. The oh, butterscotch. Okay. One I think would go good in a, in a guess rum and coke. Stock. That's my first guess. Oh, it smells very traditional. Yeah, it's really good. It's got some sweetness to it. This smells like what <clears throat> I imagine a spice rum would smell like. Yeah. If, if you had a. Yeah, it's sweet. It's not too burny, so I don't think that's a higher proof one. I don't. That you can just see the way it kind of splashes. It's a little bit. It's more it's another added. warming like yeah very s so far smooth. I like that one. That's really yeah. good. It's heavier too. Out it, of all yeah, the it ones. is heavier. But I do like. The fact that it is not overproof. Yeah, I think the overproofs are going to be great for mixing more than tasting at most of the time. To be honest with you. Yeah. Because you want to spice up the. And the you're, yeah, you're going to get you the want. spice up, but the alcohol should reduce. Yeah, whatever you're mixing theory. with. But in this one, I don't know if I'd want to. I'd probably put this into like a, not necessarily a sidecar because it doesn't call for it, but something like that where it's it's very focused on like three things. I put that in an eggnog. Or an eggnog. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's a good idea. Eggnog in that. Eggnog in number <coughs> ten. Ten. So this is number. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this one comes with special additives. Oh, five. Oh, there's number five. I thought those. Wait, can you tell that's five from there? No. Yeah. Right. It looks like a transformer. Yeah, it does. <laughs> or at least the the language transformer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or or um, elvish Tolkien elvish. No, no, Dwarvish. It's got Dwarvish. I wish okay. I have described. Now this is really similar to that last one, only it's <coughs> it's stronger. It's still got some sweetness to it. <coughs> it's killing him. Cough up like a chemical taste, though. <laughs> well, you've had a whole bunch, so how do you know which one you're coughing up? That's a good point. It definitely burns your face a little bit more than the last one. But the flavor's good. It smells good. So I'd say for an overproof, that might be one of the better ones. I like the flavors get more amenable toward the darker it gets, I think. That one has um, like an allspice or something. I think that's Sailor Jerry's or uh, the... Uh, that bothers me a little bit. The cruising. Yeah, well, no, there's... <laughs> I don't know why. It's too dark to be the cruising. No. But for some reason, I get like almost like a hairspray. The smell you get when somebody mm. hairsprays something. <clears throat> it's like that aerosol hairspray stuff. It seems yeah. like a little aftertaste of hairspray. <laughs> like Aquanet. <laughs> Remember that? 80s? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, I could come up with random things to say, but that's, like, when your brain goes, hey, you know what, this is triggering? Yeah. That's all there's I, a reason I, for I just say. I don't Either know why. Either there's a sensory taste memory associated with that right. for some reason, or that's what it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know which that is, but that's all I could think of, so I might as well splurt it out, and maybe somebody else will say, you know what, number five <laughs> tastes like hairspray to me, too. This is number two. Number two. Number two. Oh, booby. <laughs> I figured he was, he was looking for it. The last is he. The dark should give you that, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Smooth. Yeah, it has a lot of the But it's got a lot it's got properties. kick to it too. It's got the the uh, nutmeg <coughs> allspice like thing. Yeah. With, with buttery mm. uh, molasses like flavor to it. Definitely. And overall, not, though, that wouldn't be something I would I would. Last but not least is eleven. Like can't S- some of the dark the ones. Marker. Sometimes people use this as a float. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Float on it. that. I think it could be an actual core ingredient. It could, yeah, definitely, as opposed hot. to a float. It is hot, but it's smooth at the same yeah. time. Whew. Oh. That's got all spice in it. All spices, all the time. Any Taste pimento? That. No yes. pimento. Yes, there's pimento. Because it's there? the same thing as all spice. Oh, is it? <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, for some reason, I think it's all spice. Hmm. There's a picture of all spice. That's what I'm looking. Hmm. Right? All spice, cinnamon, and alcohol. And like alcohol. It. Yeah. Um, oh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah. Uh, but a very pronounced like, hey, I'm about to kick you in the side of the cheek. Yeah, it's got <clears throat> it's got punch to it. Yeah. So now for the reveals for us, do we do we want to go through the reveals? Yeah. Okay. So so you're still on the on the that one. I right? guess I still kind of like well, the. Let's pull the these out. This was yeah. no, it's a nine. That's not the this right one. one. Yeah. So pull that out, and then was it the second one that also had a nice smooth like flavor to it, or was that the third one? And this one's. My favorite of the darks, mm-hmm. I think. Um, try that one. Almost has a honey now to it. Cranberry. Yeah. yeah, right. It does almost have a honey. Maybe it's the darks that are affecting our taste palate. Or they're expanding them. Mm. Or your taste just changed after downing. <laughs> <and> Dynamic. <laughs> that's still pretty good. That one is um. That's the caramel one. Butterscotch. Oh, yeah, that's the butterscotch, right? And this is butterscotchy. Um, yeah, so let's oh, see. So we got caramel butterscotch, burn, 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 burn. Ooh, good, good. That's okay. So let's start uh, left to right. Number six, Jen. Is Captain Morgan spiced. Okay, so we kind of figured okay. the that, weak, that makes the sense. One. Light, yeah. It doesn't have as much of traditional flavors, I thought. Some of the other ones had more what I thought when I think of. Because in college, I drank Captain Morgan. Like, yeah. I didn't know any better. I was, but it's light, it's going to go and not. 
not change the color of a drink. It's yeah, but when cheaper, I add it into kinda... things, I don't get any full, like, I, it seems you to get, get lost. Yeah, you get the burn, but you don't get Maybe the... because I'm used to ones that are like, they're like, they have screaming, like, flavor. flavor yeah. That when you go back to that, because if you just drink Coke and then you add that, you know it's rum and Coke. But when you add one of the yeah. other ones, you're like, oh, this is good. This is how it should yeah. be. It, well, that's the thing. I mean, Captain Morgan is all over the place. Everybody's had it. Right. And it's readily available. A lot of these other ones aren't. Either right. not readily available or not readily in the price range. You're Sailor not Jerry's sure are fine. <laughs> Captain Morgan private stock. Sometimes I'll see that at a place. Oak like I've seen more. Yeah, Oak Hart's maybe uh, come, come Kraken because I think it's more know, of a craft. But when now. you look, you I see commercials for it a lot lately. Yep. And so yep. they're definitely putting something in. You never see the lash. Uh, I've never seen the lash. So there's the original spice. Yeah. This is the lash. This is the one that Doug got all upset about because he thought I had to do a slavery, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, and then this one, <laughs> oh, I, I don't like this one only because I feel like they're trying to to work off of this label. Yeah. High proof, high proof. Um, it's got a woman on it. It's got a woman on it. Like, yeah. But this is a pirate woman, not a sailor woman. That's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. Woman. A Hawaiian woman would probably be closer to the truth of, of what a spice. It's got the blonde would be. neck. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah. number seven is Ocart. And we kind of like that one. Oh man! Yeah, I, I know you were not a fan I'm of all card at the time. No, but, but I guess I am. Maybe you are. So yeah, there you go. Actually, pretty good. <laughs> Chat room. That was the, Was that the? That's the um. That's caramel? the caramely one. Yeah. yeah. This that yeah, came out really some, good. Yeah. Some caramel flavor to it. Okay. So I was, I was wrong. this was a standout. Though. I got more of a black pepper one. I've said okay. that before, but that that's a surprise for you then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, numero ocho. Mm. That's eight. Cruising. <laughs> Cruising. So that was, that was our butterscotchy. Really. I bet you if you look at the nine ingredients, butterscotch isn't on the list. <laughs> Did I say vanilla about this one? Because uh, vanilla. I'd have I to go back to the too. thing. Nutmeg? Not you might have said nutmeg. There's nutmeg in there. You did there's, say vanilla. Yes, there's... One of them. All right. Yeah, and I, I, see, the thing I like about that is they actually put... I'm like Doug, I'm tying my shoe. Uh, Good job. Uh, they actually... What I like is they put the ingredients in there. I like yeah. Like, so you don't That's feel nice. like a fool. It's not just like alcohol and spices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then people are going to be like, our brother's cruising rice. Cruising... Uh, Spice rum because it has not many flavors I really like, and all, all right. spice really comes through. In the, That's true. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you can make yourself who, feel cooler than you really. Yeah, and then someone's got to look at the bottle and be like, "Yeah, I can read too." Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna feel like a total jackass. Like, it's gonna be just like when when we're doing a review and Ian's like, "Yes, this has notes of such and such and such and such." Exactly like that. Yeah. All right. So moving along, number one. Uh, private stock. Private stock, really? We didn't rank. Oh, well, we drank a lot of it. <laughs> Uh, but that's this is the one we thought private see, stock was way at the end. We're in some trouble because well, I don't see now. I get the private stock, but do you get the chemical in there too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, surprised. Wow. Then somebody in the chat room say, "Oh, he's gonna pick. Pri they're gonna pick private stock." Yeah, but no. Mm. Surprise, surprise. All right, uh, number three. Ah, ah, Blackbeard. Ah. This is Blackbeard. So is this the stuff? This is that, the one that no, yeah. that's Black Blackheart. Heart. Yeah, that's, see, that's where I no, got confused. There's one. Blackbeard's right there. Okay. There's Blackbeard a black heart, is a, there's an oak heart, there's a black beard. Those are the Soralis company, the people who make Don Camp. Yeah, that's kind of... That was overproved, I remember that. Is that... Is it Mercedes? Is it oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so then just a little bit. Number four, Jen? Sailor. With Sailor Jerry's, okay. So... Sailor Jerry's... I didn't think it was going to rank high. Yeah, no, it's too... Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much what? Oh, heat. Oh yeah. Yep. And it, it comes off of chemically. It comes off chemically to me. Yeah, and I think that has to do with the fact that it's so balanced into the, the explosive. And number nine? Nine is Black Heart. Black, that's the Black Heart, which we didn't pick either. No. Which is, that's the one you were talking about. It, wait, funny that Black Heart and Captain er, and Sailor, Sailor were right beside each other. Yeah, and they both have the same bottle. Kicking you. Alright, this is one we like, number ten. Is limited. Captain Morgan limited. Oh, that's oh, the one okay. that I like. Sure, I guess. So did I like that one? Yeah, that was yeah. the one we liked the most? Yeah, I like I think. Oh, we... sweet. Because this is the one I... You know what? This I is the one it. I picked initially. It's sweet. It's got yeah. some flavor to it. And I, when I yeah. did the review of this by itself, I'm like, this is the best Captain Morgan product that, that exists today. I didn't test it against and Private Stock because I hadn't had it in a while and I was but just now really you have. tasting this. And I thought it was... Be I said, my... I remember my, my claim was, this is limited. This should be their... Their flagship. Their flagship. Yeah, that should be good. Captain Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one we didn't pull was number five. Um, Transformer writing. Spice Jack. Spice really? Jack. That's way over there. I don't even know what the hell that was. <laughs> that was one that we thought could be. It was still kind of um, 
Was that the one we thought was okay? Like it was a, it it's was pretty serviceable. I think that was your ass total one. That was your nail polish from over here spray. Uh, Forty-seven percent. Yeah. That is pretty hot. And then the the other one that we liked was. Uh, yeah. Two. Kraken. Kraken. Okay. Kraken. So we like. So the, then, what the hell's the other one? We like the other one has got oh, to be. Just, the, this must be the last. The lash, yeah. The last one. Number yeah, eleven. Yeah. Oh, I guess it is, Eric. So. It's just got it's got a really different flavor to it. It does. It it I'm, has a strange. Fl is that the one I thought had hairspray? No, this is not this, this one, one I said had heavy allspice. I mean, I don't mind that. It's really different. It smells it, nice. It's really cool, actually, for a rum flavor. It just so different. Yeah, you're right. No, yeah. It's definitely weighted in some direction of a there flavor. There is some spice in there. So to recap, you guys maybe liked... cinnamon. Yeah, to recap, we like the oak heart. Surprisingly, to Derek. Yeah. Uh, not surprising to Derek, he liked the uh, thank God the sherry oak finished Captain Morgan, and that was really good. Also, this is the one I this is that's what I was considering my most the the best rum that I have in my collection, and that's the one that we both I like gravitated to. Right. We we also liked the uh, so we, we liked the uh, caramel, caramel notes in this, yeah. and we liked the butterscotchy notes in the Crucian. Right. And we liked the Kraken for the dark one actually. Yeah. So and the only one you don't have is Captain Morgan Black. And I think me and Doug, I think it was Doug, had tasted Captain Morgan Black against Kraken and picked Kraken over the two. Okay. Uh, but it was only because we were, you know, we were tasting like what one might be better in, you know, Captain Morgan yeah. Black might be good in a rum and coke. This might be better in a cocktail with other ingredients, Mason. Yeah, yeah, I see that. But I, I don't know where it went. It's someplace in this mess. But that's not a bad comparison between all these. I think no, we did, I it, think we did justice to it. And I think the the goal is to for people to be able to go into the store and say, I want to pick a spice rum. I don't want to be the yeah. college kid that's just going to be like buy oh, a handle of this. Here's the cheapest one. Yeah. Right. They're not all very expensive. I mean, right. I think maybe the, Kraken's probably up there. Lash is probably this isn't that that's bad. That's pro probably not too bad. Lash is probably up there. Probably little. stock's actually not too expensive. Sailor Jerry's up there a little bit, I think. Yeah. And they have they're, they're all in the too. same. Ballpark, right? Yeah, but you know, and when you go in, you're like, "Oh, what's my ballpark?" First off, if you're looking for a black, black is going to be different. It's sweeter. Yeah. Remember, it's got yeah. the molasses. It's got a little bit of a different sweeter note to it. So that, if you're going to look for spice rum, having both, even using both in a cocktail, isn't out of the abnormal because you use different rums. Yeah, right. You can use a light rum and a dark rum in a cocktail, totally. an aged rum and a non-aged rum, whatever. And they may play differently depending on the brand that you right. use, depending on how like how. Uh, finite you're trying to be with your palate right and and how, how much you're trying to hone in a taste and if you're trying to hone in a taste of caramel maybe you go towards maybe, you go with the, the, maybe that's why it mixes with the coke because it's sweet right i think both those should these guys would play really well in a coke. yeah those are both this one I, works in a coke as well but i think that it's it's got so much more dynamic flavor yeah. that it works best you want to use in that a in a special limited edition coke <laughs> With Mexican sugar. With real sugar. Yeah, real sugar. <laughs> well, I guess the sugar isn't necessarily Mexican sugar, but they call it Mexican Coke because they make it in Mexico. With right. real sugar. Yeah. Because we don't do anything with real sugar around here because no, we're all about chemical. making chemically. As right. we could tell in a couple of these. But in general, you don't have to, there isn't one definitive product, just like there isn't for a no. bourbon or anything else. There's no one, oh, this is the product if you don't have this. That doesn't mean I can't say, if I were to build a cocktail with all the different spice rums and I'm looking for like I'm gonna make my own cocktail design, I'm gonna probably use this product because I know that this is the like top for me. It fits the profile, and if I wanted more... But if you're trying to make different cocktails, you're not gonna use one rum for every, co every cocktail you're no. gonna make either. Unless you have I mean, no money. Unless you have no money. <laughs> then you I mean, a if, if you're at a bar, I mean, if, if you have the opportunity to explore with different rums, you're gonna try different rums. Right. As, as a mixologist or, or someone who's interested in rums. Right. So. I would say go, if you could get Cruz or I'd start there because that's pretty good. Yeah. I think Bacardi, if you're at a bar, because if you are uh, Oak Heart, people are gonna be like, "That's oh, a Bacardi product." He's just he doesn't know anything, right? It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, but you know it's mass marketed, mass marketed. Kraken is, yeah. Kraken is it's, it's getting there. Mass marketed. You think yeah. people are gonna just think you're trying to be a badass, like you're a biker? Yeah. Unless you're a biker, that's fine. Yeah, or but Kraken, Crucian Nine, biker, obviously. I would order Crucian Nine because people are gonna go, "Huh? What's that?" Because you won't see it as often. Yeah. And I, I, it, it comes down it, to surprise. It, if you're ordering based on the reaction you want to give other people, the exactly. impression you want to give other people. You want to give other people. If you're ordering based on your taste, oh, yeah, then order. base it on the drink that you're getting. <laughs> yeah, but if you just want to be like, throw people off, like, what's that? And now you open that gateway of, this is why I'm so awesome. Right, and then, yeah. Right. Well, you, what's great is you get a drink that this plays in, right. and then you order that drink. Yeah, and I think that'll play fine at Coke, too. Yeah. Crucian and Nine and Coke. That's a drink. I just made it up. Crucian Nine and Coke? Yeah. We're going to call it Nine and Coke. It's called the Rum and Coke. No. Yeah, you can call it. I'm going to call it, what's right. the port, What's the one from, port, uh, 
Cuba uh, Libre? Cuba. No, <laughs> yes, it's Cuba Libre. I'm gonna so, order Cu Cuba Libre. So, Nine. So it's gonna be a, a Virgin Libre. Oh, a Virgin? You guys Virgin Islands? Oh, I, I'm like, it has yeah. alcohol in it. No way to put Virgin in it means yeah. non-alcohol. <laughs> That's, right. That's messing with your brain. Virgin Libre, it's a... Virgin? Who's getting ready to roll. With Libres. It's getting free. Yeah. Gotta free up anyway. those versions. <laughs> so that's our I so think we spice the shark review. There. I think. <laughs> there goes the shark. Uh, so pick up all of them and then. Re <laughs> I can't help you. Uh, if you, if you ha have the willingness, I would start by buying this only because it's, lim it's apparently a limited edition. So pick one up so you have it. Yeah. Then if you could keep going down the line, I'd get all of them and then mm. you'd go back and rewatch the video, taste them. See if you get the same stuff out of it as right. we do. You probably get more. You might get something different. You might get something completely different. But that's and because everybody's again. got a little bit of different taste. But right. Still, yeah. And then you know what? Make sure you don't do it with the label because then you might be biased. Like I was biased towards the, the black art. Yeah. But you're surprised pleasantly. So that's I good. I hate when I'm surprised though. We no, tend to like Bacardi products. I know. We always we pick do. their light rum too. We Only in blind blinds. taste. Yeah. We'll pick their light rum. So um, I'd love to see you surprised like that because I know you were kind of shitting on this no, before. No, I, I shit on all like, the time. Previously, you were shitting on it. No, I, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm glad this got blind taste. Do you not notice that the the products that I have the smallest bottles of? <laughs> the ones you shit on. Yeah, it's, it's on purpose. I didn't. I only have them to put the. So I have them. Right. In case somebody says you should do this, and I do it, and and there you go. Uh, you're going to have to get some more of that because you're running out now. Yeah, they have bigger balls. Yeah, I'll have to get a bigger ball. <laughs> uh, question today, anything I should come up before I... Do, are bees afraid of heights? Are bees afraid, are of, bees heights? afraid of heights? That seems like it's a very binary question. It is, yes or no. Right. Yeah, we need it's, a we need more in depth. Um, why? So what was the, <laughs> why are bees afraid of heights? Oh, now, uh, great. And uh, why? And why? What about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon where there are no bees there? <laughs> what? See? All these questions could could be answered uh, I by don't know. you. I'm just saying. I'm mean, asking, presenting the question for some. Question number two: Do you like men with hats? Unless you're a man and you're not gay, then I don't have a good. Well, well maybe you, you just think men with hats are cool and you're not gay. Yeah. But in a totally platonic in a, way, in a, hats are in cool. a no homo hashtag or, or Octothorpe type of way. Um, then what I was gonna say is, what was the last time you were surprised with a product? It doesn't even have to be alcohol. It could be frozen food. It could be Anything, steak. Yeah. Uh, you know, a different kind of steak that you like. You, you know bought what? a phone and you thought it was going to be awesome, like the iPhone 4 or something, and right. it turned it's out trash. to be completely depressing. I don't know if the iPhone 4 is good, but you know, I'm I was, just throwing it out Yeah, there. and I was reading some reviews on, on the Maroon 5 new album, and people were like, this is awful. Like, a lot of people are all upset. I'm like, God, oh, I didn't see that coming. But apparently, huh. there's sometimes things surprise you with weird shit. What's the brand across the line of all brands and things? Let's talk about your experience, good or bad. Right. Levi's. Why? Why? Old Navy. Why? 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 And why? Ex Make it in depth because expound upon it. We want to read these things. We, we want expansion. Yeah, I go back and I read the comments on the videos. I'm just saying. I I know. I see your comments every now and then. Yeah. Like you do all the time, obviously, because well, you post everything and you That's get true. you probably get hit. Plus, but I go back. I read. I go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything I'm tagged in, I read. But anything that's not, I'm not tagged in, I get and to eventually. And people tag you. They're like yeah. such and such plus Ian Andrews. Oh, yeah. like, oh look at that. Makes plus Ian Andrews. Special. Called out with the plus sign. With the plus sign. YouTube style, which you can go to youtubecom slash everyday if you want to see the show. But you're already there. So. Google Plus style. Um, lastly, yeah, Patreon.com/slash/cmc, and you can. Um, you know, help me afford to buy stuff like this for these type of blind reviews. Yeah. That's it. Help help him help you. Help me. Do it. Oh! I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about the you other stuff later. AwesomeDrakes.com. Go to AwesomeDrakes.com. I just wanted to last end off with this for the, to show some of what I got. I'm going to give the winner of the Bloody Mary contest. So Ooh. I just got these in. I, they're not even for sale yet. These are my personal ones. I have four uh, of them. That thing's awesome. That's like a Stein. Cool. Oh, it's the, the Cthulhu? Yeah, it's the guys from the Cthulhu. How do you know because of this? Because it, it says Cthulhu right there. there. It does? Where? No, right there. Oh, yeah, it does. Cthulhu. Uh, the Cthulhu <laughs> guys built a new mug. Nice. It'll be on Austin Drinks. That's probably mid-October. It's 25 ounces. Is that what I said? Oh, They're 24 cute. ounces. Yeah, that's a monstrous thing. Gilman House. Or 30 ounces. Innsmouth Mass. Yeah. So uh, I, I got four of them because I, I invested in their Kickstarter program, hoping that it would succeed so that that's I could great. sell them at Austin Drinks. Which and I give one away. Yeah. And so that, that one is going to uh, Mr. Knight. Uh, yeah. Who has won the Bloody Mary contest? Good job again, this tonight. Well done. All right, folks, we're done. We're gonna go make some cocktails. We are. Go try some rums. Cause we're teaching you how to drink. What are you doing? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Kill
Oh my god! Always have to fuck her hard. <laughs> like sometimes that's not right to do. Sometimes you gotta make some love. And give it for <laughs> the <laughs> somebody smooth just too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good job, KG. All right. <laughs> <laughs>